Welcome to this course on creating armor using ZBrush in a Game of Thrones style. Now, if you like the look of this figure and you think it looks cool and you'd like to create something like this, then this is the perfect course for you. So we'll be tackling how to produce all of these armor elements, um, including all of the chain mail as well in this ultra detailed course. I'll be covering a lot of different styles um, in order for you to produce this type of armor so it's very in-depth we'll also be creating the extra bits like the buckles um, for this as well and pretty much everything you see so I'll be going into a lot of detail with all of this to give you your final render okay so if you're interested in creating armor like this then as I said this is the course for you now if you look at the course details you'll see that all the things we cover which is a load of stuff I'm not going to talk about that now because you can just read the content below and that gives you all the information you need but we are covering a hell of a lot in this course it started off as a small course and then it sort of evolved into a monster so this is this armor in the Game of Thrones style and along the way you'll see the techniques I use and you can adapt those to make them work for your particular project um, saying that I have supplied some of the assets as well that I use to create this piece of armor so enjoy the course and uh, I look forward to hearing your questions and again like if you have any questions then message me it is a complex course so I do expect people to have a few problems along the way and I'd like to help you resolve those problems as we work our way through it now this course is for an intermediate to advanced level course but if you're a beginner you might want to try it and see how you get on I don't cover the basics such as navigation, it's all very straightforward and I've done loads of courses for beginners so I'm moving on now to the more intermediate to advanced users of ZBrush for R8.